So it's been a crazy, and I mean a crazy weekend for One Piece, bro. We got episode 1000 that came out on Saturday. We had the One Piece film red announcement. Like it's literally been a crazy weekend. We also got chapter 1032, like I would have been in his bag, bro. I can't even lie. But today specifically, we're going to talk about one of these things. That being the Shanks film red announcement because a lot of questions have been being asked a lot of theories are circulating i'm seeing a ton of it and i want to talk about all of it today and give you my take and my twist on what i think the one piece film red movie will be based on other movies but also based on some headcanon too and a little sprinkling of theory while we at it but of course before we get into the video we have to get through the youtube stuff man if y'all like this video as soon as you find out that you like it i mean the minute the second that you find out you like this video hit up like man also comment down below and give me any feedback you have and if you like this video and want more awesome theory videos or chat the reviews make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications without further ado let's get into the video so something that i have to talk about is how amazing twitter is shout out to like scotch informer like Soulstorm, my man geo there's a bunch of people on twitter that give out fast updated one piece information and i have to say that Speaking of Twitter, if you don't have a Twitter and you like One Piece, make one. The shenanigans that happen on Twitter are hilarious and my Twitter link is in my pinned comment. Make sure that you go follow me on Twitter, man. I swear it's fun. We do Twitter spaces. It's awesome. But while I was on Twitter recently, this weekend, I find out that there's One Piece film red. And in the D of the word red of that movie, you see three scars. And some people are like, oh, it's kid. No, 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 no. Please stop. We all knew that that was Shanks. And as soon as I saw the Shanks scar, I got excited. Now, something that happens often in One Piece movies is they're adapted completely by Toei, written by whoever Toei outsources for writing, and they're non-canon. But something that I noticed within the first few seconds of this little trailer teaser we got on Saturday was it is going to be produced and originally written by Echira Oda himself, which does not confirm that it's 100% going to be a canon movie. However, there's probably going to be either some canon characters something that happens that is canon in the movie maybe it's an injury for example when we saw in the one film Alkiji's leg that's canon we saw his leg messed up and how he had to use his own ice to replace it that was something canon in that movie that was also originally written Jura Oda so it's not to say that this is going to be 100% canon however there will be canon elements most likely I believe also film Z was originally written by Echira Oda as well and some of the things like I mentioned were canon but not everything. So before we get too too ahead of ourselves we got to be a little bit realistic. Most of the times in these One Piece movies we see mostly non-canon and a few canon things or we see all non-canon things. There's never been a time where we had a movie be an entire add-on or expansion to the canon story itself. So when people are like, oh, I want a Shanks origin story, maybe we'll see how Shanks got scarred by Blackbeard. Maybe we'll see Shanks versus Mihawk. These are not things that we won't 100% see. There's like still always a possibility, correct? But I just don't want us to get our hopes up too, too high and then be a little bit disappointed just based on how the movies that I've seen have went. Now, I wanna talk a little bit about this teaser because anime fan talk, which, you know, he's a older One Piece content creator. He was going around on Twitter. Again, make sure you follow me on Twitter so you can't miss this stuff and he was ranting and raving and replying to everybody's comments saying shanks is evil shanks is evil he's a marine and i didn't understand why he was doing this so i went and looked at the teaser and apparently at the end it shows shanks face and it seems to them that he looks sinister in a way now i'm not gonna lie he did look a little sinister in the little teaser that we got so i think that that is why they were saying like oh shanks is evil oda said that shanks is going to make his move this is shanks making his move he's going to you know twist the one piece world upside down prove that he isn't this goody two shoes that we think he is and they provided some evidence right and shout out to anime fan talk for this he shows that shanks didn't stop the war until after it was over and ace had already died and he also showed that shanks went to the gorse and he alludes to that it wasn't blackbeard that he was speaking about but it was luffy 
Now, I do have some counter arguments, right? As far as Marine Ford goes, I feel like the reason Shanks showed up late is because he had an encounter with Kaido. As we've seen in the recent Viver cards, Kaido of the 100 Beast was traveling with King, just King by himself. King is entirely built different. Stop playing with him. And they were traveling to Marine Ford together. They encountered the red haired pirates and Shanks on their way. Now, we don't know if they fought or if they had drinks or if Shanks somehow just stopped him with talk no jutsu, but they did encounter each other and I think that took up time. I'm going to say that they talked it out. Maybe he gave him some sake like he did to Whitebeard. That would make more sense to me because Shanks showed up to the war and was still able to clash with Akainu and he was completely unscathed. Also, the rest of his crew was completely unscathed. And it says in the river card that the red hair pirates are the ones that stopped King. So maybe Ben Beckman did or maybe Lucky Rue because Lucky Rue is, you know, the combatant of the crew. However, none of them look battered, bruised, or beat up, and I just don't think that they are that powerful to be able to, you know, pretty much low or negative Kaido and King. Like for them to show up completely unscathed, they would have to molly whop them and then have enough time to get the Marine for it and be unscathed. So I think what happened is they had a conversation. He might have gave him some sake or he might have, you know, talked no jutsu Kaido out of coming to Marine for it. But that took time. Like convincing somebody like Kaido can't be easy. He might have had to offer him something in return. He might have had to bribe him. <laughs> you feel me with that liquor? <laughs> you feel me? But he had to do something. And that took time. And I think that's why Shanks showed up to Marine for late. And that's why Ace had already died and things that already went awry. That's just my excuse for that. As far as the other thing, the Gorosei thing, I think that in my mind, the Shanks being evil theory and him, you know, telling on Luffy instead of telling on Blackbeard to the Gorosei, it's like interesting from a writer's standpoint, right? Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, it would be probably the biggest twist in anime, like, honestly, like, who would see that coming? Carcoon in the background, you feel me? But anyways, my point is, I really do believe that the whole thing with the Gorsei doesn't make sense to me, even though it would be interesting. Because Shanks bet his life on Luffy. He gave up his arm, he gave the straw hat to Luffy, he bet everything on the new generation. Why would you bet everything on the new generation if you felt like Luffy was that much of a threat? If Luffy was that much of a problem to you, just let the Lord of the Coast eat him. If you wanted his Gomu fruits, if you wanted him out the picture, let the Sea King eat him, get the fruit after after Luffy dies. Now, I don't know how devil fruits work yet in that regard, but I'm assuming that it goes to maybe the nearest fruits because how in the heck did Blackbeard get, you know, Whitebeard's fruit? Also with the whole thing with like Big Mom and Mother Caramel, she ate Mother Caramel and then got the fruits power. So it's like, it, it's weird how they get transferred and things but i feel like he could have just let the lord of the coast eat him if that was his prerogative like why wait until now to go tell the gore say luffy's being bad out on the seas you guys need to look at him and and pay attention he's being a bad guy like bro it doesn't make sense now what i think the story is going to be most likely is going to be a mostly non-canon with canon element story revolved around luffy the straw hats and this character that's in the teaser this woman with like headsets on she has wings that's probably going to be the antagonist and i heard somewhere that oda said that he was kind of tired of doing the whole like legendary old man thing in movies like if you remember he did it with like shiki like the zephyr stuff the whole thing with bullet he's kind of tired of that trope so he wanted to try something different and i think that this woman being an antagonist instead of the old legendary man makes sense it's different but there's no way in my mind that oda is going to have a movie and toei is going to make a movie without luffy and the straw hats like it's just not going to happen i know some people were like oh it would be super cool if you know it was just a shanks movie and there were no straw hats in it and although so i think from our perspective it would be cool we have to really think about the japanese perspective and we got to think for a second like the japanese fans don't think like us and that's the majority of their money they have an entirely different mindset than most of us like based on just like if you look at popularity polls right that's one of the like clearest evidences to me there's a bunch of people in the like 30s 40s 50s that like i know a lot of us love and that's because japanese people are voting for random ass people like pedro and karen and stuff and no offense to them you know i love the minx and all that i do but 
I'm just saying that's a good indication that the people that the Japanese fans and like the fans love globally aren't really the same as us. They like different things to us and it seems that they like the straw hats a lot. That's the selling point. So there's no way in my mind Toei's gonna do a One Piece movie without Luffy and the gang. Like it just doesn't make sense uh, in my mind. Like I don't think it's ever happened. I don't think there is a One Piece movie without Luffy and the straw hats in it. Like I, I don't think there's one. I think Shanks is going to be heavily involved in this movie, but I don't think it's gonna be like an origin story i think this is going to be like a story with shanks involved where we get aspects of his origin right maybe we do get like a blackbeard encounter or maybe we get a mihawk encounter i don't think though that it's going to be what everyone's expecting like this super origin story where we get to see him versus blackbeard and him versus mihawk and how you know their great duel went that whitebeard was talking about I don't think that that's per se what we're getting. I think that this woman is going to be the antagonist and somehow maybe tied to Shanks or Shanks going to be tied to this woman. And I believe that through that, there's going to be an encounter with the red haired pirates and this woman and whoever else is with them. But I don't believe this is going to be a canon story at all. Like, I don't think this is going to be just a one and done canon one to one. This is expanding on the canon of the true story movie. Like, I just don't think that's happening. All in all, I believe it's not canon with some like mixed canon in. But I did want to address like the theories people had. Like I said, I wanted to talk about what I think the movie is going to be, who I think is going to be involved in it and how. So these are just my thoughts on Film Red and what's going to be in it, how Shanks is going to be relevant to this story, what's probably not going to happen and my evidence against it, like I said. But I want to know all of your thoughts. So make sure you comment down below. Let me know exactly what you think Film Red's going to be, what Shanks is going to be in this movie. As always, I hope you all are staying safe and healthy during these trying times. This has been Sensei Inc. And I will see you all in the next video.